Hello everyone, welcome to Fatima's Art Show. Today I really just want to kind of look back at some of the stuff I've shown you how to make um, in my art episodes and um, really I just want to give you ideas so if you're stuck you're not sure what to make you don't know how to, you don't know what to create maybe either with a group of children or if you want to create something in your sketchbook and you're a bit stuck or if you just want to you know make an art piece and you just want an idea i just thought i'll show you a few of the ideas that i've previously shown in my channel so maybe you can get an idea and create some lovely artwork so yeah that's really what i want to do today so let me get started okay so i've just completely filled this table with a few of the stuff i wanted to show you a few techniques and let me start here um, this is a coffee piece I showed you how to make previously and I will put the link down below it's by using just coffee and water and this is thick paper and I just wanted to show in this episode that you can use just simple things that you have at home to make artwork and um, I created this piece quite a long time ago and it's still doing really well and I can imagine hang, I can imagine hanging this up somewhere. It looks like lots of fun, and it is. <laughs> um, so let's move on. I'm going to move on, move these aside because I want to show you this piece over here. This is a lino piece. So I used lino and I carved it, and then I printed with it using printing ink. It's again a beautiful technique and you can create some lovely artwork to either hang in your home, put in a sketchbook and it's a beautiful, beautiful technique. The other one is ink and bleach. I discovered this when I was doing my teacher training and I just loved it. I absolutely fell, fell in love with the process of using ink and then using bleach to almost erase the piece but by erasing the piece you are creating um, some lovely marks patterns designs an image anything you want and it's just a beautiful process you can do a similar thing by just creating um, a kind of um, pencil sketch and then using a rubber to erase parts of the paper to create the sim a similar sort of look but with ink it's really beautiful i love it love it love it love it love it bird houses that were paper paper mache bird houses that were ready made but i really just wanted to show um the clay that um i used on top and how to decorate a piece and it is a really nice activity to do so if you want to get your hands um you know if you want to get yourself sorry not your hands if you want to get yourself busy then um this is a lovely activity to do um this is a piece i did with the kids by using plaster of paris and um a mold um you create the mold by putting your hand into resin and then pouring plaster of paris on the top it's a beautiful technique i also did an episode where i did my husband's face by using a similar technique summer project that you can do a beautiful summer project and i did show how to make this um i think it was may the last year or the year before um and it's really just felt that um, by using soap and water and putting placing pieces of felt you can create your very own felted art piece it's beautiful and it's lovely how you see something that's completely individual individual pieces of felt combined together in in the way that you want them to and um it's really nice you can also um place these in the washing machine and when you do they shrink they become really small and i i did quite a few back in the day when i was in uh, college and I really enjoyed this process, so do check that video out. Also, here I've got um, a tie and dye technique that I've shown also, and um, 
it's a beautiful technique I did not show um, kind of writing and creating patterns on the top but that is something that you can achieve you can do some tie and dye and then you can use markers and you can just kind of they could be the fabric markers or just normal markers if you're not planning to wash it or anything and you can just create patterns on the top maybe a large um, tie and dye piece or maybe you can make different squares and then stitch them together to create kind of like a big quilt these pieces i did back in college it was a long time ago and these are one of the very few pieces i kind of kept i just fell in love with the process of um the different processes that i use the different techniques and kind of creating the same image and uh, same pattern in different ways so um this was on a perspex and the butterfly was printed using a poly block print um so if you do not know what that is another description a box link will be there this is another piece and it's on some wood oh can you see it on some wood and um and then fabric is placed on the top it looks like very thick fabric i can't remember what fabric i use but i'm assuming it's canvas um and then i've just painted them on the top and again it's created a very different look i love it and then the last one is very different again it's made on metal so what i've done is i have um, painted on metal i've used the glue gun and then used um some sort of colored um how can i explain it i used it in one of my christmas episodes so you put the co colored um they're like um, foil paper, like coloured foil paper on the top and then it just kind of grabs the colour so you're left with these lovely blotches of colour and that's also great fun and it creates beautiful texture as well. This piece I um, did, I'm not sure if I've shown this, I think I have, but it's really simple. All you've got to do is put some tissue paper on top of the piece of paper and then you're using a fine black pen you're drawing some lovely um, patterns design even an image could be a portrait could be absolutely anything and then what you're doing is you're using watercolor and you're just filling in the little pieces so you're creating the beautiful beautiful piece again a beautiful piece that you can frame you can hang you can put in your sketchbook you can just explore different colors and i just love this technique i absolutely love it in fact i want to do another video just kind of showing how to do this this is a piece that i've kind of briefly shown i think um from what i remember and it's using sand so i've mixed the sand with the paint and it's created this beautiful texture and the way you um, make the texture appear on the surface is that you take some paint and you just kind of um lightly touch it on the surface and acrylic paint is better because it's thicker um so i just take the brush i dip a little bit of acrylic paint and not too much so it's kind of like a dry brush effect and then i just kind of dust the top and it kind of just appears magically it's absolutely beautiful and who says you can't mix paint with felt tips here i've mixed some sort of felt tip black markers onto parts of the white paint on top of the white paint and you can create a lovely art piece just by doing that thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed that and i hope that's given you a few ideas don't forget to check out the links below in the description box of all the different things that i've shown you today how to make them step by step check out those videos if you haven't already and um share the videos share them with friends family or anyone that you think is interested in creating a lovely art piece okay then thank you very much for watching like i said take good care of yourself as always and bye bye